Should you buy this? We're gonna go with probably not, but we'll open it anyway. Today we're opening the Pal Packs Signature Edition Golden Grade Mystery Box. These mystery boxes always have way too long of names. The names are too long. They don't fit in, th they don't fit in titles. They're annoying to say. I just wanted to complain for a second. Let's go over what this box may or may not contain. They're guaranteed vintage hollows. Now the definition of vintage to me is Wizard of the Coast era Pokemon cards. But their definition can be literally anything. It could be sun and moon at this point. Uh, only graded cards 8 or higher are included, and there's a guaranteed graded card. Um, this is more, this is, this has more words. Um, each box contains a professionally graded Pokemon card, a factory sealed booster pack, and 25 additional Pokemon cards, including a vintage holo, a vintage first edition stamped card, five holo or reverse holo, and extras in bold. Whatever those words mean. Um, we'll slowly and surely figure out uh, the truth of those claims, and then we'll figure out if this is worth it, and if you should buy it, and all that jazz. We'll slide the seal off. This got a little dented during shipping. It happens. I understand. All right. And we'll save the reveal. Um, let's just grab... This feels like loose cards. All right, here are the loose cards. Um, this card is, this came undone, and this back card is sticking to the uh, the plastic that it came in. So that's a bad sign to start with. Um, we'll slide, okay, I mean, we'll look at those in a second. First, though, we have a first edition Dark Radicate uh, from Rocket, so they're Team Rocket. So this is, I would call this a vintage card. Um, it's not in great condition. It's pretty scuffed up there. Um, looks legit from what I can tell, though. So that's, I mean, that's a cool card. That's cool. Uh, we have Sylveon from Pogo. All these are, if these are all Pogo hollows, that's, um, you know, that's like getting Sword and Shield, or getting uh, Scarlet Violet hollows. They're all rares are hollows. Uh, three reverse hollows. Um, this is a bunch of energy cards are not cards. That doesn't count. Um, Bunch of just bulk here, that's what we're looking at. Yeah, just a bunch of nothing. If that's the extras. Um, let's see if I can do this without messing up the card. I guess it has a code card, is that an extra? Um, we got Scyther, blah, 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 blah. Uh, there's the code card, it's from a Shining Fates booster pack. That's cool. Um, we have... A fossil Zapdos? Is that legit? A hollow fossil Zapdos? Is this in a... No, it's in a... Get out of here. Okay, it is in another sleeve. Okay. <laughs> um, this actually looks like it's in decent condition. If it's... I mean, it feels legit. I don't know, I can't... I'm not great at figuring out if cards are real or not. Um, but, I mean, it looks like it's in good condition. Let's take it out. Not really any scratches on the hollow. You can kind of see that with the light right there. I mean, that looks decent. I don't know how much this card goes for. I might put that on screen if I remember. Um, but that's actually, that's pretty good. And it's a card I don't have. I'm like, no, I have, I don't have this card. I know that for sure. Um, that's cool. I mean, if, if it's, you know, these two cards are decent gets for the price of this box, which is in the title. Yeah, this, okay, this isn't the title, but it's an $80 booster box, or mystery box. So, I mean, that's not, I mean, there's still the graded card, but that's not, you know, we'll see what the graded card is. Um, why, why not just take it out of the sleeve? Why stuff this in the box? Uh, we do have a sealed Scarlet Violet base set booster that will open, um, so out of the $80 that this cost, this would account for 4 or $5 worth of what it is. So we'll crack this open. We'll see what we get. Maybe we'll just pull a banger and it'll be worth it. Uh, there's the code. I give away all my code cards in case you're wondering. Um, I almost did the old thing. You just take the energy off the back. All right. Raulu, Go Goat, Scatterbug, Shepet, Nest Ball, Parishu. Picnic Basket, first reverse is a Magneton, second is a Fukoko, and a Miradon EX. That's a decent pull. I mean, for just one booster. 
a double for me, but something. Now we can't really count that in the value of the box, can we? Because they're just, it's a booster pack, you get what you get. All right, so we just have the slab left. Um, let's open it like this. It's a Beckett grade, not a, um... wow. <laughs> Um, an 8.5 near mint, not English card. I didn't even realize that it's something. This is German, judging by that B that does, isn't really a B, because Germans are, you know, it's German. It's a different language. It's not English. Um, centering 9, corners 9, edges 8.5, surface 8.5. The uh, non-English market for cards is not great. Pretty, pretty not cool thing. <laughs> you just, you assume when you buy something in English, you're receiving English. Um... I guess they're not lying, but it's not exactly, uh, it's not exactly honest, I'll say. This is, um, <laughs> this is, this is a different, definite no for me on it being worth it. That's pretty, that's pretty scummy. So, this weird, feels like it's packed wrong, Beckett 8.5, you know, German card, one booster, a bunch of junk, essentially, and... A first edition Dark Radicate and a Hollow Zapdos. The Hollow Zapdos being easily the best thing we got out of this. But still, that's um that's it's a, it's a definite no for me, folks. Do not buy the Palpac Signature Edition Golden Grade Mystery Box. It's a no. Do not purchase it. Definitely not worth it. That last one I opened that was twenty dollars less was a way better deal. So anyway, now you know, now I know. Um World's most trusted source in collecting Beckett grading services. Is that true anymore? I feel like most people go with PSA. But anyway, there we go. There we have it. Uh, this is so weird. Beckett doesn't do QR codes. I can't even, like, check this. Well, anyway, that was dumb. Uh, don't buy it. Don't buy it. Hey, you know how I said it probably wasn't worth buying at the beginning? I was right. Don't buy it. Anyway... Now you know, now I know. I hope you're having a good day. You should subscribe. You should like this video if you liked it. Thanks for making it to the end. Check out my other Should You Buy videos, and I'll see you next time.